What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Thank you for watching. This ought to be a good one because today we have quite possibly the most expensive out of the box handgun I have ever fired on this channel. Say hello to the Staccato 2011. So the 2011 is basically just a modern double stack version of the 1911 and the Staccato is widely considered to be one of the nicest, definitely most expensive, Gucciest 2011s money can buy. It's also a very good looking handgun and I believe this one was north of $3,000. The question is, is it worth it? And that's what we're going to find out today. Now, for those of you that don't know, a 2011 is basically just a modernized version of the 1911 that came out 100 years later. Of course, it is a double stack 9mm pistol, which is probably the biggest difference between the two. 1911s were single stack 45s, but it looks and functions just like a 1911. Thumb safety, grip safety, beaver tail, hammer fired, uh, amazing trigger like most 1911s, and this one even has a threaded barrel for fun stuff to go on. And from what I hear, the internals on these Staccatos are very well made and properly fitted, which is important for a high quality 1911. So I think that's about it. Let's shoot this thing. First magazine, they hold 17. I think I put 15 in it. The smoothness of the action is glorious on this thing. Absolutely beautiful. So if you watch the channel, you guys know that I typically like to take the first shots with the new gun on camera and then kind of develop an impression throughout the video. That is not what I've done with this Staccato. Because this is such an expensive and finely tuned firearm, I wanted to put it through its paces before I filmed this video so I could give y'all an honest opinion. So for the last couple weeks, I have been shooting the absolute crap out of this thing. And I'm glad I did it that way because the more I shoot this, the more I fall in love with it. It is a phenomenal handgun in every way. And I'll tell you why here in just a minute. But first, let's shoot it some more. I always see the cool tactical dudes on the internet doing the one-handed slide racks with these staccatos. And I don't know if it's aftermarket springs or what, but I want to try it. That sounded good. It worked. <laughs> that is sweet. That should give you an idea of how smooth the action is on this thing. The recoil is amazing. See if I can hit that bowling pin. <laughs> Threaded the needle. Man. If you can't afford one of these, don't try it because you will instantly fall in love. We haven't shot the Texas Star in a while. Let's see if we can clear it with a handgun. Wait, wait. That's definitely my new favorite way to load this gun. <laughs> I love you. Well, I could sit out here and just shoot this thing all day long, but I assume some of you might actually want to learn a little bit about the gun. So I'll go ahead and tell you what I know. They do have several variations of these Staccato pistols. This is the Staccato P, and it's the only one that I've ever tried. So I can't really comment on any of the others. Like I said, this one in this configuration comes in right around three grand. So it's definitely not a budget firearm. It's probably the most expensive nine millimeter I've ever held in my life, to be honest. I'll just come right out and say it. This thing is glorious to shoot. It is so smooth, so well made, and it feels like all the controls require the perfect amount of pressure, if that makes sense. The slide, magazine release, grip safety, trigger, thumb safety. I mean, listen to that. Very audible and tactile. It just feels like all the parts were perfectly fit to this gun and that's something I've never experienced before. And it's kind of crazy, the more I use it, the more I fall in love with it. If I were to build a dream gun, 
this would probably be about it. The grip texture is not my favorite that I've ever felt. It's up there and it's definitely good enough. I usually wear gloves on hot days anyways because my hands get super sweaty. But if I could change one thing, it would probably be the texturing on the grip. It just doesn't feel quite as grippy as some other pistols that I've felt. The grip is a blended polymer and the upper is metal. I've had people complain about that, that a $3,000 gun should not have a plastic grip. I disagree. I think polymer is superior in many ways, but obviously that is all personal preference. And the upper and lower are kind of two separate things. So you can take the lower off of the upper and I assume you could probably swap it out if you wanted to. Speaking of disassembly, the Staccato 2011 is light years ahead of a 1911 in terms of breaking it down to clean it. I assume most 2011s are similar in that regard, but this one is very easy to take apart and not as frustrating as some 1911s can be. Flared magazine well, adjustable trigger, which is cool. I see no need to adjust it. It feels absolutely perfect for me. Uh, like I said in the beginning, it also does have a threaded barrel and I actually got to shoot this one suppressed and it was awesome. All right, Staccato P2011 with a silencer on it. Ah, oh, listen to it without the target. Oh. Man. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, I just got a magazine guy here. Like, keep going. Supers. Not bad though. No. Even the supers are not very loud. Did you get a little bit? Yep. It's good. Apologize. Go ahead. We shot subsonics and supersonics with a can on it and it ran both of them pretty much flawlessly. I think we had one stoppage with the subsonics, but they were like 800 feet per second. So it's kind of hard to blame the gun for that. It was probably the ammo and that's about it. This is definitely one of, if not the nicest feeling handguns I've ever shot in my life. And it's not hard to look at either. I love the way this thing looks. So obviously if you suck at shooting, this will not make you a better shooter, but I will say it's the only gun I've ever fired that I do notice an improvement in my shooting. Typically Gucci guns just make you look cool at the range, which is also very important. Uh, with the Staccato, I do feel an improvement. So it turns out when you design everything perfectly, it does actually help. All right, since this gun is so damn nice, it's almost like cheating at close range. So I wanna step back in 10 yard increments and see how far we have to go before I miss a shot. Starting at 20 yards. 30 yards. 40 yards. 50. The target's getting pretty small now. 60. 70. 80 yards. <laughs> 90 yards. We're getting outside of my comfort zone here. I'll just hold right above the target. <laughs> that is awesome. 100 yards. We've had no misses so far. Watch me blow it at 100. <laughs> That is nuts, man. They're just lobbing right in there every single time. All right, I've only got a few rounds left, so I just came all the way back to 130 yards. This is as far back as I can go. We are literally on the curve about to leave the shooting range, so. I don't think I've ever attempted a pistol shot this far, at least not successfully. And that target is so small. <laughs> I hit something. Yes. <laughs> On the very last round, we hit that target from 130 yards. 
Wow. Well, obviously a lot of that is on the shooter. It is very difficult to make pistol shots at long range, even with a gun this nice. But we just proved if you do your part, the staccato is more than accurate enough to hit the target at 130 yards. That's pretty cool. Yes. <laughs> All right, before we wrap this one up, I found some old targets in my truck. So let's go ahead and finish them off with the staccato. Ah! That worked out a little better than I thought it would. <laughs> well, it's a good thing we're supposed to get some rain tonight because that made quite the mess. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, I wanna thank John from Whisper Tactical for loaning me the staccato to make today's video. Now, I just have to figure out a way to get one for myself. So the big question that I wanted to answer in this video is, is a $3,000 pistol actually worth the price tag? And that depends. Number one is your budget, and number two is what you value in a handgun. If the difference between $1,000 and $3,000 is not significant to you, then yes, I would say 100% without a doubt, the Staccato is worth the price. Again, it's one of the nicest feeling handguns I've ever fired, and all the little things that they've perfected in this really do make it a better shooting gun. If you can't afford it, then obviously I would say no, it's not worth it. It's not gonna make you a better shooter and the gun that you have right now will work just fine. However, I will say if you can't afford one, probably don't try it because then it will just piss you off and you'll end up selling things to buy one, which is what I'm considering doing. That's about it, I'm impressed. I did not think I would like this thing as much as I did or notice as big of a difference as I did. And I tried to remain objective throughout the entire process. Sometimes when you get a Gucci gun, it's easy to, you know, kind of fall into that trap and think it's nicer than it is. I do not believe I'm doing that with the Staccato. <laughs> it really is that freaking nice and I want one. So in my opinion, it's worth it. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know down in the comments below. As always, hit the like button for me, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.